Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. <laughs> Alma. So guys, it is Thursday. I did just under 10 miles on the trail. It's 4.15. I'm getting dinner ready. I have just under 14,000 steps. That's including um, like three and a half miles on the trail and another six on uh, the bike. So good day for exercise. I'm making a spinach salad. This is going to be a little bit carby, guys. So if you are like 20 total carbs, this is not the recipe for you. However, it's 96 degrees in Texas. I don't want anything very heavy. And I saw this on my feed the other day and I thought, oh, I need this in my life. And so that's what we're doing, guys. I am making a spinach salad. This is three ounces of spinach. The recipe calls for a lot more. I'm downsizing it a little bit. The lettuce laid out. I have additional, um, iceberg lettuce with some onions and then fruits. This is why I'm saying it's very carby. I'll be cooking a little bit of salmon and, and we're caramelizing lovely pecan halves, guys. I put in a tablespoon of butter, half a cup of pecans, one tablespoon of the pure stevia sugar, actually it's stevia and erythritol sugar, and a little bit of dash of salt. You caramelize this three to five minutes and then set it aside. Now to the baby spinach, I'm adding my favorite, guys, iceberg. I know there's lots of fancy lettuce in the world, but I love my iceberg. In addition to this, I'm having salmon, and I'll be setting that on the center, so I'm going to kind of build around the outside of the salad. I have one ounce of red onions, guys. Then we're going to sprinkle on three ounces of blueberries. Then we'll place our strawberries another three ounces. If you're concerned about the carb count, guys, just reduce the number of ounces of your fruits. Then I'm just going to drizzle our lovely pecans. Doesn't that look pretty so far, guys? And now we're gonna head over and start cooking our salmon. All right, guys, I have my salmon. It's 14 ounces of salmon inside my pan with a tablespoon of bacon drippings. And I know most people do this reverse. I like a good scald, so this David, on the skin. So we do it in reverse. We do the bottom first and then flip it over and do the top. Ooh, nice flying. Obviously, we're gonna cook at different times. I'll be pulling this off very shortly. Remember, on your salmon, you wanna still see a little bit of pink going through on the center. So I've always thought the perfect salad has bacon, so let's add bacon to it. This is two slices, and it helps add some more fat content to it. This is our OMAD. Omad being one meal a day, and then last, one medium avocado. I have David sighing in the background because he's hungry. You hungry, babe? Yeah. Yes. And again, guys, hard-boiled eggs would even go well with this. is salmon there we go guys how pretty is that so you know what it's only the two of us eating this tonight and why put it on a fancy platter well you know what I watched a video from Sandy of Sandy's losing it and she was talking about using her fine china two to three times a week and I'm like yeah why not plate it nicely for just the two of us not just for photo purposes why not eat off some nice plateware now what's gonna happen <laughs> is most likely gonna just eat off of this together. You know, just kind of sit down, have a little food party, 
and uh, enjoy this together. All right, guys, now there is a dressing that um, is included with this recipe. I am not a huge fan of red wine vinegar, and uh, so I didn't want to risk this. So let me show you what I'm serving the salad with. So my dressing of choice today, guys, is gonna be this Asian uh, calorie free from Walden Farms. Don't laugh, guys. Everyone calls it chemical farms because it's just zero calories or anything and 10,000 ingredients. So yeah, I know, guys. But we're gonna go ahead and run with this today. And here's the beautiful salad, guys. Again, this is gonna be a little bit more carby. And now that we have it all plated, guys, the last little bit is your cheese of choice. I actually think that the queso fresco would be delicious on this. However, the recipe calls for five ounces of feta cheese. Sprinkle on some feta cheese around it. I won't be doing more than one and a half to two ounces, guys. All right, she's done, guys. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday, it's Onito. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah.